Dear Bess, you'll never guess who I'm visiting in New York. Maddie Jensen, your favorite soap star from Light of Our Love. Maddie is renting Aunt Eloise's apartment in New York. And after hearing about my last case, Secrets Can Kill, Maddie called to invite me up here. According to Maddie, Rick Arlen is getting death threats, but he won't go to the police. So she wants me to do some investigation work. Can you imagine anyone not liking Rick Arlen, daytime's cutest hunk? I have a sneaking suspicion, though, that there's more to this case than meets the eye. Call you later, Nancy. Come on in, Nancy. The door's open. Welcome to New York, Nancy. I'm really glad you could come out here on such short notice. It's always nice to come back to the Big Apple, and now I get to stay with a famous soap opera star. It must be exciting work. Believe me, it's not all that exciting. With 5 a.m. shoots, a million lines to learn, people all uptight and yelling, and now Rick's getting these death threats. Well, tell me about the death threats. Well, for the past month, my co-star, Rick Arlen, has been getting these awful death threats. First, we all shrugged it off. You get the occasional odd letter in this business. But then they started to get weird. Weird? They're totally bizarre. Not only did he get letters, but somebody sent him a box of poison chocolates, a broken watch, and then there's that whole thing with the teleprompter. Tell me about the letters. Well, the first ones had the letters cut out of magazines, you know, like on a ransom note. They were all signed by someone named B.T. Kaiser. Somehow the news leaked out and the press totally jumped on them. Then they started getting ugly and twisted. Someone sent him poison chocolates? Rick's a major chocoholic. His fans and friends are always sending him boxes of candy. But these chocolates were so nasty, Rick spit them out. <laughs> I've never seen Rick say no to chocolate before. Did Rick go to the police? No, and that's the problem. No one is taking any of this seriously. Especially Rick. He thinks nothing will ever hurt him. Nancy, I'm running late. I need to get to the studio. Hey, why don't you come over and visit? I'll leave a visitor's pass for you at the security desk. Oh, before I forget, here's a copy of the house keys. I'm always losing my keys, so I've got plenty of copies. I'll write the studio's address on your map. Just catch a taxi cab outside and show them the map. They'll know how to get there.
Hello? Guess who? Nancy! First you leave me to visit your aunt in Florida, and now you're in New York. By the time you get back to River Heights, I'll be an old man. I'll hurry back to you. But first, I've got another case to solve. So, Hannah told me about the investigation you're working on. Sounds neat, but kind of dangerous. Anything I can help you out with? Well, I'm getting along so far. Okay, I'll let you get back to your sleuthing. Be careful. I love you. Taxi! Where can I take you today, miss? 1999 Broadway, please. Can I help you? Yes. Maddie Jensen left a visitor's pass for me. It should be listed under Nancy Drew. Here you are. You'll need to sign for it. You'll need to come to this desk every time you enter so I can log you in. Have a nice day. Visitor, according to the policy's memo dated July 14th, 1954, no one is permitted in the prop room, except for those people permitted in the prop room. You may want to talk to the director, Lillian Weiss, if you want to become permitted. She likes to do all of the hiring around here. Good day, my dear.
I don't care who he is. No one breaks a contract with Bill Pappas. I'll kill him before he runs out on me. It's open. Hey, Nancy, glad you could make it. We'll be shooting soon, so I only have a couple of minutes to chat. Can you tell me more about Rick? Hmm, where should I start? Well, I've known Rick since I started acting. Well, after I got my big break with the touring production of Romeo and Juliet. We both played the leads. I guess it gave us good practice for the parts of Rory and Serena. So how long have you been a couple? You mean off-screen or on-screen? You see, Rick and I dated when we were with the touring company for Romeo and Juliet. Do you think an old flame of yours could be motivated by jealousy to do this to Rick? Actually, Rick and I are no longer dating. But come to think of it, I do know someone who could be jealous enough of Rick to do something like this. Yuri Danner, Rick's twin brother. I'm sorry, Nancy. It's been a running joke around here. You see, Rick's character has an evil twin, Yuri, and everyone's been saying that it's him who's causing all this trouble. But seriously, I have no idea who could be behind this. Oh, look at the time. I've got to get to makeup. Hey, why don't you come down to the set in a few minutes? I'll be shooting a scene with Rick. In the meantime, make yourself at home.
I need something to make this work. 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 Places, everyone. Are we locked in? Yes, Miss Weiss. We're clear to shoot. Have we blocked this already? Yes, I think. Quiet on the set. Is the floor ready? Check. Audio. Uh, check. Roll tape. Stand by camera one. Stand by music. Take camera one. Rory, I have to talk to you. I don't want to see you, Serena. No, Rory, don't go. I love you. I don't want to see you, Serena. Sheesh! What was that? I could have been killed! Get my agent on the phone, now! Clear him out, everybody! Looks like that's a wrap.